Hey guys, my name is Chance and one of the things people ask me the most is how did I get started off in videography? So I actually wanted to share that with you all. You know, so one of the things in videography for me is the creative aspect of it. Even if it's taping yourself or filming others, creating a movie, doing interviews, it have a structure, it have a a creative element it where you could experiment and you know try out different things try different techniques to get um, different results so for me with video one of the things I remember the most is I had a sleepover by my cousin's house and they were playing on the television from the um, from a camcorder um, the holiday trip and to me, that, that blew my mind, you know, that this little camera could have captured those images, you know, um, from watching MTV, real world and these aspects, you always sometimes see the cameraman in the shots and they always hold in this big camera, you know, um, or films, you always see in this big camera. And I was shocked that this small camera could actually produce such quality you know um, from that um, I was in the music scene as, for a while and uh, my cousin asked me to videotape her band all right so she wanted me to videotape her band her band playing and I borrowed a camera I remember borrowing a camera from a friend and from that moment on I fell in love with cameras. From that moment, I fell in love with cameras. Just taping from different angles and getting the footage, going close-ups, wide shots. You know, um, I learned a lot just from that one moment of just being in that band room and videotaping the band. I have no idea what happened to that footage. I knew I didn't know how to edit, so, I would love to know what that footage is, you know, um, but from there on, I sent in resumes to one of our, our top um, media houses in Trinidad. Um, I sent in resumes from the age of 16, no, uh, no, not the age of 16, the age of, it was 19, from the age of 19 to the age of 23 when they actually called me. but. To go back a little more, when I actually, um, when I actually was taping in the band room, I fell in love with it. So I decided to sign up for well, college. I went and studied media and media communications. You know, and from there I was able to more enhance some of the things I learned on my own and I learned editing, which was one of the main things, you know, being able to put your, your, um, your videos in a sequence to create a story, that actually changed things for me, that actually made me more creative, it gave me more, like, more visual storytelling aspects to half of the things I was creating was not up to par, but because at, at that time I didn't own a camera, so I was using like my phone. And you know, phone cameras a few years ago probably wasn't the best. So, and the ones I had. So, from there, going to school now, I was able to borrow some of the cameras that they had in the school. So, from using those cameras, I was able to get better. And at that point in time, I didn't have a job and I got the call from my dream job. You know, it wasn't in the dream position at the time, but I got a call from a dream job. That's the job I was handing in resumes to since I was 19. Right? Um, so, after a period of time, I actually was able to transition to my dream position, the position I've been handing in resumes for as a cameraman in that, um, in that field, right? So, now I was able to work with more cameras, but I was, I was always used to using small cameras. They used 
big cameras in the media at that time. There's big hand cameras that you will see on the real world and these aspects of it. You know, um, well, probably CNN at the time. You know, um, that was, that threw me for a loop because I wasn't used to it. And uh, I was always used to the, using the DSLRs at that time. You know, um, so from transitioning from school to being in the media, that was a big jump, you know, a really big jump because I remember the first assignment they sent me on, my composition was horrible, horrible. I must say, my composition was horrible. I was sure that they was going to send me home that day, but they gave me a chance, you know, um, because of something had happened, something had happened, I can't remember, yes, but um, it had, I'll go, more, I'll go into more detail on that, yeah, I'll go into more detail on that story of how I actually first held a camera in um, the media, right, but from going to school and learning about the cameras actually being in the media now, it actually threw me for a loop, but I was able to, well, withstand the fire, I guess, you know, because sometimes it's like being thrown into the fire because you, 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 a lot of times you're thrown in where you don't really know 100% how to use certain equipment. Because every equipment is different, you know. So from there now, I was able to buy my own equipment. And on looking to finish up college now, I was able to produce a film with some of my classmates. And all those things did really well and helped push me to the position I am in now. You know, doing music videos, commercials, and other things of that aspect. But one of the things I actually want to tell like people who are budding videographers is just go out there and tape. Like, just go out there and have fun, experiment, because it's through the experimenting is where you actually will become who you are, you know? You will actually find your style, you will actually find your voice within film. You know, um, I personally have my own style. My own style is different from others. I like a, I like a lot of bouquet, a lot of close-ups. I like a lot of um, ruler turds, these aspects of things. Um, if you want to actually learn more about videography, you do, you do have to actually go to a school or you don't actually have to be like following the trend or the norm. Experiment, go out there and videotape. It, 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 do, it doesn't matter if it's a DSLR or a, a camcorder or your phone going out there and videotaping and that's the way how you get better. You know, through those aspects is how you get better and experiment, experiment, experiment. You wouldn't, everything wouldn't look good all the time, but through the experimentation, you always prevail. So, this is one of the things I actually wanted to talk more about, you know, on, well, this channel, talking about how I actually got into certain stuff, motivating people into actually doing it, you know, and, uh, you know, helping the next generation find their place within videography. Because even filming yourself, you know, filming yourself, filming your family and friends, all this is ways to get better. Once you practice, try different things, you will always get better. You know, one of the things I remember the most from, you know, shooting films or shooting commercials is I never really went in with a plan half the times. Of course, you have your storyboard, but a lot of times the environment, the lighting, it forces you to think on your toes, it forces you to change your, those plans. And in those moments is when you actually see and you can actually tell that this is for you, when you can actually maneuver different um, 
you can maneuver different situations to get the best outcome. That that is that is actually being a videographer. You know, trials and tribulations. You know, so on this page I actually wanted to talk more about um, these aspects. A lot of people ask me these questions and uh, I wanted to you know share more and a more long form content and not just use short form content like TikTok. You know, because we have we still have useful long form content. So like, subscribe and comment. Comment things that you want to hear about videography and or, or, or photography or anything of that nature. You know, and uh, catch you in the next one.